What's going on there guys? We back with another one and today we're going to talk a little bit about Stephen A. Smith and Jerry Jones. Um, I'm going to play these videos for you guys first and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts at the end. Check it out. Yeah, that, that was, um, uh, gosh, uh, 60, 65 years ago and um, a curious kid. I, I didn't know at the time the uh, monumental uh, uh, event really that was that was going on and uh, uh, I'm sure glad that uh, uh, we're a long way from that I am and um, uh, we just uh, well, that would remind me just uh, uh, continue to do everything we can uh, to uh, uh, not have those kinds of things happen. Any regrets of just being in the photo being there at all? What? Any regrets on being in the photo being there at all? Well, I didn't. I wouldn't uh, have just dug that up for right. sure. Right. I mean, seriously, but uh, uh, that was curiously. Uh, uh, I got criticized because I was more interested in how I was going to be punished by my coaches and everybody for uh, being out front. But nobody there had any idea, frankly, what was uh, going to take place. Uh, you didn't. Uh, we, we didn't have all the last 70 years of reference and all the things that were going and so uh, you, you didn't have a reference point there uh, still uh, uh, I've got a habit of sticking this nose in the Jerry. right place at the wrong time <laughs> did you get did you get in trouble with your coach or being there? I sure did right. what, 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 what was the punishment well it uh, you know I was uh, a young sophomore trying to make the team and uh, uh, they kicked my ass Jerry Jerry it came out to the Little Rock situation uh, at, at Little Rock Central though right uh, that photo and that incident. Excuse me? That incident came out of the situation in Little Rock Central. Uh, well, that was North Little Rock, right. which was literally just two or three miles away. It, was it the same day as Little Rock Central that it came a, a as different I recall, day? As I recall, it uh, was certainly in proximity with it. Uh, those were certainly uh, uh, the issues that uh, were going on, but uh, did not have the uh, uh, structure or the uh, the, it was not the event that the central thing was. Jerry, do you understand the perception that people have of you standing there? Because that was not exactly a welcoming committee that day. Yeah, I sure. But you gonna bring up a photo of him? Yeah. When he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We. This is. This is where cancer culture gets into the mix, and you're making an attempt to eradicate him what he stands for and all he has done. But we're gonna go to Jerry Jones. When, and, and by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old. But we're gonna lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South. And we're gonna pick it up 66 years <laughs> later to say, you know something? Yeah. You ain't hire a black coach. I think that's pretty low. I really, really do. I think that's. I think that part is pretty low. If he were an adult, yeah. that would be different. But a 14, 15 yeah. year old kid raised in the South who literally is just standing there yeah. looking, and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. Oh, this is where you were. You got to explain this. Yeah, man. So that's what Stephen A. Smith had to say uh, after what Jerry Jones said, man. And um, this isn't everything he said. So don't think this is everything. I just couldn't post the whole clip for copyright reasons. You know, they would uh, send this channel a copyright claim. So um, I just cut out the pieces that I want to talk about, man. Now, he did go on to say that he recognized historically some of the unfortunate events that took place back in those days. And um, he did say, you know, that if Jerry was older at the time, then it would be more culpability. Uh, he'd have more responsibility, right, to that. But um, what I would say is, Stephen A., when these type of things go unchecked, man, you and nobody is ever held to the fire for it, when do they actually ever change their view of the world when um, it isn't brought up? Like, yeah, it was 65 years ago, but it also went unchecked for 65 years. You see what I'm saying? So um, those type of things can be worse and worse. 
some people might say, oh, he hires um, players, yada, yada, yada. Uh, he hires players of color. He has people working for him of color. Yeah, he's a businessman. But at the same time, um, Stephen A. even acknowledged like some of the things with the phone interviews with the co- with the black coaches. Um, he's never had a black head coach during his tenure. You know, the things that was going on during the the uh, kneeling during the national anthem, some of his stances on that, um, and for the reason that it was, right, and how strong his, his beliefs was, he's left the door open for people to see that photo and be like, hmm. So don't act like it's just left field that people feel some sort of way about it. Are they right or are they wrong? Is it justified? You know, you can argue and debate that all day, but um, is there some legitimacy there in my opinion? Yes, it is. You know, so Stephen A., this is why he gets a lot of criticism. Like you see, uh, just a few months ago, he said he would never let up on Kyrie Irving. And all Kyrie did was share like a, a um, link and also, um, you know, just the, he did things on and off the basketball court, but no one was harmed. In that video with Jerry Jones, people, you know, the course of their lives could have been changed. You know, incidents like that often led to violence and, um, you know, people getting beat up, killed shot stabbed anything you know so him just saying he's he was curious uh i don't feel like that's legitimate because you were curious about what what were you curious about you can't tell me you didn't know what was happening that day because you would hear what those people that were standing even further in front of jerry jones was saying to the people that was trying to get in the school it wasn't that you couldn't hear those things being said so like curious about what just say i was ignorant that day i shouldn't have been out there that would be much better like what we we looking for you know he owned the team you know that's his team whatever whatever right but all we looking for is him saying that i was wrong that day i shouldn't have been out there and you know move forward I mean, I, I get that there's an element there. That's how it was back then. But we can't just look past it just because that's how it was back then. Because, see, you see a lot of these things still going on today. You see their children's children still have that prejudice inside them. So we have when we see things like this, we have to call it out and see who's on the right side of history now and who's still stuck in the past. So that's my two cents on that, man. Um let me know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.